know what I mean? Just to say that the Lord has made, we want to be glad in it, you know what I'm mean? saying? Man, that old devil, you know, he, he always at work, so you got to understand. He don't never quit, you know what I'm saying? So you can't quit. Amen, That's brother. That's one thing about a, a believer, you see what I'm saying? If you believe in the Lord, if you believe the Lord going to fix it, if he's going to take care of it, everybody say, Jesus, you will fix Since Kim, I heard her sing that song, you know. And I say right now, if you believe that Jesus is going to fix it, you got to understand one thing. The devil is always there to try to tear it down. God say what good is, evil is always present, you know, but Amen. evil is good is always present. But I just want to let you know, you know what I'm saying, whichever way it goes, well, we're going to get into it anyway. We're going to figure it out in a minute. But I just want to mess around and open the day. I just want to open it and let you know something. That uh, I was talking to my pastor in the back. And I want to let you know something. That when you mess around and start living for God, things about you going to change. Amen. You know what I'm saying? You got to remember... Like I told you a while back, you know, flies turn in, I mean, maggots turn into flies. And caterpillars turn into butterflies. But when, you know, when they change, when they make their metamorphosis. But when God changed you, he's going to change you on the inside. Yes, sir. You understand? He's going to change you where people ain't going to be able to see that there's something different about you. Amen. Until you walk the way you walk, till you say something, till God show them that he's inside you. Because what God do, God is going to change your heart. Amen. When you walk up there, they're going to still see Marvin or me by whoever you say. You know, they still see Sister Kim, you know, but they, you know, Pastor. They'll still see that person that that's what you're because we're not like that. We'll turn into problems. What happened is God changed the inside of you. Yes, sir. That's what he wanted me to tell you today, man, because God changed the inside of me. So now when my friends come by and they say something to me, you know what I'm saying? How they make go, how they know God changing is what I the way I present myself to. Them. And that's why I was telling you, you know, that's why I felt I thought about that. I said, man, you know, Brother John was asking him, what about this? What about that? You know? And he told him he don't worry about it, you know, and then like I said, he got an aura about it. So what it is is that when he mess around and open up his mouth to somebody that say something negative or somebody trying to get up under your skin or somebody trying to Change the way you feel. And you know you're a child of God. You understand what I'm saying? When you know that you're a child of God, you turn it over. You speak on the yeah. Change the speech and see you turn it over. Yeah, it went all. Just like that, you see what I'm saying? And what good is, the evil is always present. That's what the Bible say. Turn up a little bit, Pastor. Yeah, that's all right, right? You know, whenever you try to do good, the devil will always appear. So that's why I wanted to talk today about, you know, like I said, what we left off last week, you know. I mean, I look at it, I, I went back and I looked at it, I said, man, that was a beautiful session. Because, you know, when you can mess around and have a Bible study and everybody's intertwining and, and speaking and saying what they feel. And you can talk to them. But we want to go back today. We're going to talk about this. It's going to be part two, number 14. We're going to talk about sin, transgression, and iniquity. You understand? This is what we're going to talk about. That week I read for you. I went and I found another definition or something else that I found for you. I want to read to you. They ain't looking at pops in my glasses. They right there. And we, we, we want to say, how you doing that, Brother John? You see him in the like front of Look under that, under that, uh, the right hey, okay, on the next one. The next one over here. There you go. All right, you know more and more why. That's what the devil do. See, he yeah. won't always confuse the Boy, I thought that I already had this set out. You see? But I want to tell you something, man. I want to tell you. Let me read this in here to you. We're, going to, we're talking about sin, iniquity, and transgression. All right? But this is something else that I found for you, you know. It says in the Bible, iniquity is a sin that is premeditated. Ain't that something? I used to do that. I used to premeditate some of the things I was going to do. So that means I was living in iniquity. You see what I'm saying? But God removed that from me. That's what I'm talking about when I say people see me. And now when I say things to do things, because I used to try to convince people to do wrong and I was going to do wrong. 
I don't do that no more. I don't premeditate unless I premeditate. I know for a fact I'm going to be here on Friday. Not that premeditation. You feel that? I don't want you to know that. You feel that? That's the good one. It's an ongoing and excluding, you understand? It's an excluding. It can also be defined as a violent or duty or right that humans are obligated to fulfill. You see what I'm saying? That's the law. So if you break the law, that's iniquity. God said this is the obligation that we have to fulfill. As a human, we have to obey the laws of the land. You know what I mean? It says that or as a immoral practice or wicked act that is harmful or offensive to society. Or God and God. You see what I mean? See, we mess around and see that iniquity, that's some bad stuff. It says, it says the Hebrew word most often used for iniquity means guilt. You see what I'm saying? Worthless. You see, I mean, guilt worthy of punishment. That's what the Hebrews say. They say you guilt worthy of punishment. Yes, sir. Sometimes, you know, I know for a fact that the Lord punished me. You know what I'm saying? I know for a fact and I, I accept it. Because, see, we think God talking to us when he say spout a rod and spout a child. He talking, he's not talking to us as parents. He's talking to us as children. See, we God's children. So if he spat his rod, you see what I'm saying? If he spat his rod, you see what I'm saying? You'll spoil your child. Yes, yeah. So go get your man. Yeah. Okay. So we want to know sometimes, you know, us as children. See, we God's children. Right. So we got to understand the same thing that applied to us as children of God applies to our children. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why I love the way Pastor always say that, you know, ain't nothing changed. You can go in the Old Testament, the New Testament, whatever, you apply that to your life. That's what you do. Apply the Word of God to your life. That's all you got to do. And God got me opening up and letting you know this here, man. Martin Wayne Douglas, these words that I'm speaking, these are not my words. This is what God wants me to present to you. When I come out this Bible right here, when I'm explaining to you the way God is, I'm explaining to you the way God would want me to explain. Because God wants us as children, you know, he don't do the smart. It's just like you say in heaven, you know, they got streets of gold. That just to let you know how wonderful it is. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? You go up there and you walk in those streets of gold, you will say, man, I ain't had gold all my life. Not this much. You see what I'm saying? God do tangible things to make us as children understand what he's trying to do. This is what God is putting in my heart now. I'm not under, I'm not busy. This is God's word. I'm blessing myself. You see what I'm saying? I sit there and read the word of God and study the word of God and then I understand. Whoa. Man. Man, it's so easy to follow God, man. Yeah, read God. the word. Study to show yourself approval. Work but not being ashamed. Man, a young lady told me that this dude came from Missy Boy. He told the church up. I said, what was he talking about? Uh, 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 you see what I'm saying? She tried to fill in the blanks, but she didn't even know what the question was because the man was telling her something, and all she wanted to do was hoop and holler and watch how everybody else was so happy. Man, again, you could tie the church up, but when you walk out that door, guess what's going to happen? Uh, you walking yeah. right back into that life, man. Yeah. You walking right back out there with that devil going to be there, man. He's going to be there. If you don't have the word of God in you, man, I'm trying to tell you, you can't make it leave. Wow. Man, I was a sinner, man. You know how long the devil hold me down, man? Because I didn't know nothing, man. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't studying every day. I wasn't listening every wow. day, man. I wasn't lying, man. You understand? I lied every day, man. If I could, I don't know. Maybe I did. My whole life, man. But God changed me. I think about what I'm going to say to people. That's and if right. I'm going to say something that I feel like it's coming out, that would be lying to them. God rephrased and make me go around and make me tell them the truth, man. I'll leave it alone, man. Right. You understand? Because you're going to have to tell another one. Yeah. And I'm right. trying to tell you something, man. Sin, man, transgression and iniquity. It lives with us, man. Sin is something that God said we born with. Wow. We born in a world of sin. You understand? Transgression is when we break the law, man. When you break the code law. Man, you know, ask, ask 10 people through your door, and I guarantee you, nine of them have been to prison because they broke the law. Yes, 
They had to go get a lawyer, or they had to mess around and uh, uh, pay somebody, or they had to go to court, they had to spend ten days. I guarantee you can try to be sneaky and try to say, oh yeah, ten people, I know ain't been. Yeah, but I guarantee you they had some dealing with the laws, buddy. Because that's what God said. God's word gonna come back, boy. That's why I know I'm a changed person, man. You understand? I want that's you to understand. Let me right. finish this for a week, boy. This word is gonna be powerful, boy. But I'm telling you, we don't get up out of this thing thinking that we're trying to fool God. How can you fool God? How can you fool God, man? God say your thoughts ain't my thoughts. So when we think something, I already thought ahead of us. That's how you know our future. That's right. Amen. And the sun is here every day. So when the stop when the sun stops showing up, that's gonna be something new. Right, and you're gonna dread that day. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. Amen, yes, Lord. Lord, help me please, Lord. Right, Immoral practice or wicked act that is harmful or offensive to society and God. The Hebrew word most often used for iniquity means guilt worthy of punishment. In the Bible, iniquity, transgression, and trespassing are all used in identify different levels of disobedience to God. The term iniquity and sin are often used in a, in changeable, interchangeable in the Bible. You understand what it's trying to say? It says, see, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Don't, don't fool yourself. Amen. Oh, God said that ain't no sin. That's a transgression. Man, that's sin. That's what transgression lead up to, man. Thank you. you understand? I want you to understand something, man. Look, I'm not telling you, man. I'm not playing church. I'm not playing church. Amen. I love coming to study the word of God. Yes. I am happy to be yeah. in this fellowship with God. Man, you ain't you don't even understand. God fit to give me some wills. I'm gonna be a Monday. Friday, Sunday, boy, look at the pop up on Wednesday. Just call me early enough. You understand? My wife dropped. Boy, you finna be in trouble, devil. Amen. You understand? We want to give a prayer right now. We want to we wanna, uh, uh, pray for Brother Johnson. Yeah. How you doing, Brother Johnson? I haven't seen you in a while, man. But I hear you need some prayer, man. We want to lay hands out there right now. We want to mess around and let Brother Johnson know that we with him, Lord. You say, Lord, you say, you know, the prayer of, of, of the of the of, of, of the righteous are very much, Lord, Lord. I feel as if I'm righteous. I don't lie. I don't cheat. I don't steal. I study the word of God. I repent. I ask God to forgive me for what I did and for what I didn't know I did. Do you understand? Every morning I wake up, I say, thank you, Lord. Yes, I have some thankful to say to him. Yes, some of us get up and run right out the door, man. Some of us ain't even been to sleep. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? When God changed you, man, you'll, you'll feel better. I sleep now. My wife said, boy, you sure was sleeping hard. The way I don't know, because I was asleep. Amen. I don't know if I'm sleeping hard, sleeping light. I don't know what I'm doing, but I know I'm sleeping now. Yes, sir. Boy, look, I'm getting pretty and pretty. Boy, get me some beauty rest. Amen. God will make your body feel better, man. Hallelujah. But the devil, I'm telling you, man, keep praying, man. Keep on praying. Keep believing in God, man. If you mess around and do not understand, God has something for you to do. And if you don't mess around and God only get it in your mind and get it in your head that you got to do it, you go check it out, my dear man. Because God said he ain't going to leave people here. You don't want to do nothing? You give up? I know it, man. You're a man of God. You ain't going to never quit. Amen, so brother. you just keep on praying. I'm going to pray with you here. Yes, We're going to pray for Brother Charles. He's getting better. Lord, I'm going to tell you right now, it don't even matter, Lord. Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we want to pray for Brother Charles, Lord. Lord. We want to pray for Brother Charles. We pray for our pastor, Lord, and his wife, Lord. Keep them healthy and strength, Lord, God. For you are, God, the Almighty God. You are I am, Lord, God. You know, you all that I am, Lord God. I thank you. I marvel at you. I glorify you. I give you high praise, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Man, you just don't know. I wish my friends could feel some of this, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, the power. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, 
Lord and Father, Lord God, we thank you right now, Lord God. We thank you for waking us up, Lord God. We thank you for setting us on our feet, Lord God, sitting in our heart, my Lord God. We ask you right now, Lord God, to look upon Israel, Lord God. Yes, Lord. We know that it's going to be your will, Lord God. You know that, Lord. So we thank you, Father. We thank you. We thank you for the will that you've been giving us, Lord God. We thank you for our families, Lord God. We thank you for our friends. We ask you right now to encamp your angels around the people that are here and those that we know and those that they know, Lord God. That no harm, hurt come to them, Lord God. But if they step out of that ground, Lord God, you mess around and take so you chastise them just like a child, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Think about it, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, Lord, I know, Lord God. Yes, I know, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. We pray our Father, Lord, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread. We give us our trespasses, and we forgive those that trespasses. And lead us not into temptation, Lord, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Jesus. In Jesus' name. I just want to let you know, man. The Bible, man, when you read the Lord's Prayer, you know what it says? It says a lot of things, man. But what grabs me most is when he says, lead us not. Yes, sir. You understand? Jesus said that. He was talking to his father. Who do you think he was talking to? Yeah. Okay. You talk to him. Why can't Jesus talk to his father? He said, lead him not in the temptation. He was talking about us. And Jesus was talking to his father. Amen. Yeah, y'all want to play game? Yeah, we believe in the Trinity over here. Yes, sir. Because if you don't, guess what? Where are you, you going to get your protection from? God said, I'm going to leave Jesus. said, I'm going to leave the Holy Spirit here for you. Yes, sir. When you speak of one, you speak him as an individual. Yes, sir. When you speak of all of you, are speaking of a Trinity. You understand? Now, we're going to get in this word, baby, but I'm going to tell you right now, I already know we ain't going to even make it just like last week. But I even try to, and you know what's sweet about it, man, Joe? You know what's so sweet about you? I went into God's word, and I started reading again about iniquity and transgression and sin. And I was reading, and it was all over the Bible. But then God sent me back off into the Old Testament, right? Don't you know that when I made this, when God put these words, when he put his words together for me to speak, I come 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, I mess around, I come here and I put my praise and worship on. That's to clear my mind of anything that's worldly. You understand what I'm saying? I come here so I can put God on my mind. That way when I open up my mouth, you understand, his word come out. If you out there looking at some kind of crazy stuff, you go into the truth of all that, you will say things that you see. If not, your subconscious mind will pick it up. That's where the devil dwells. He dwells there. Boy, he'll flash something on you in a minute. Yes, sir. Yeah. What's in you going to come out? Hey, man. You walk by and see that money on that seat. You see what I'm saying? You won't never take but that's what the devil does. Yeah, I'm right. trying to tell you he's there, man. Everybody, I'm talking to my, well, I know. Now I'm talking to the people that can hear what I say because it's going from right now. This ain't going to stop. This is something that I can put out there forever. Now. You understand? Amen. So that means it ain't going to go away. I'm trying to tell you the Bible states where good is, evil is always present. Yes, sir. Always. So just because you live in a life of God, you better understand he's there. He wants you more than ever, man. Yes, sir. You better watch out because then when he gets you, he might try to get you all the way to where you can't come back. You understand? Oh, God. Amen. Amen. All right, look here, man. I went into the word of God and I never made it out the Old Testament. Ain't that something? No, I never made it out. You know, I love, because see, I feel, I'm a nothing more than they tell the Baptist now. Repent. Yes, sir. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yes, sir. That's what John said. And that's what now we try to tell you, you sinners. Yes, God say, when he part the sky, it's going to be too late. Well, I'm telling you, I used, to, I used to say, oh, I ain't going, I ain't going to worry about revelation because I'm a child of God. You understand? Or you better start reading because I'm yeah, telling you right, right now. Yeah. You see, boy, look here, you better ask and ask yourself what you're going to be in. Look here. 
But we won't go and get off in this word because it's God's word. It's a beautiful word. I hope we can get through this. It's Exodus, let's go to Exodus 34. Uh, that's chapter 6. No, that's Exodus chapter 34, verse 6. That's page 118. 6 through 14, we hit that last week. That's right. See what I'm saying? That's where we start. See, so God, that's why I'm going to pick up right where we left off. We've been there hit the devil in the back of his head. See, he, see we're going to hit uh, 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 34, baby. 34 chapter. See, the devil thinking we he, we thinking we the mess around and went back. And on the cool, we didn't do nothing but just in the mess around. Hit him right in the back of his head while he's looking at it that other way. Sometimes, man, I ask myself. Yeah, well, why do you mess with people like you do? But that's his job. Okay, okay. Exodus chapter 6. Exodus chapter 34, verse 6. Fine. My bad, baby. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look here. Hey, man, you got it? 139. Okay, yeah, 139. All right. I should have told you that. Verse 6. Mm -hmm. And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed, the Lord thy God, merciful and gracious, long suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. See? I want to just show you that's God now. That's God. He ain't talking about you. Amen. He's talking about himself. Yes, sir. This is Moses telling people how wonderful God is. Yes, he is. You see what I'm saying? Uh, keeping mercy, okay, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving. And he, God said He gonna forgive iniquity and transgression and sin. Yes, you understand? That's what God said. God's word won't come back. But that is why I wanted to open with it to let you know these three words we're talking about. God say that He's gonna what? He's gonna forgive you. That's he right. will forgive you of this. You understand? If you repent, that's right. Once you repent. This way back then. You understand what it is? Sin, transgression, and iniquity was way back in the second book of Moses. You understand? God was telling people then, man, y'all better stop playing with me. Yes, That's what we would say, huh? We mad at somebody. Man, you better stop playing with me, man. What that mean now? Tell God that toughy. He'll come to you in a world where you like Joe, or he'll slap you down, put you in the chair. There's no way no telling what God's going to do, but he's going to punish you. going to make you know that it was him that did it. Yes, sir. You understand? God, if you're working for a sign, you better not be looking for a whooping. You better ask for some goodness. God say he will provide your every need. Yes. So look for that. Amen. When you need something, ask God. Say, God, you say it. You say it, yes, God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I guarantee you, he's going to work it out for you. Mm -hmm. You understand? You going to be able to see he ain't going to just mess around pop it in your driveway. You going to see. And then, well, I'll tell you some things supernaturally that's happening in my life. I thank the Lord. Keep in mercy for thousands for iniquity and transgression and sin. And that will by no means clear the guilty. You see what he's saying? Hey, man, hey, I'm going to have mercy for you. You my child. But do you think for one minute I'm going to forgive what you did? Man, I said go out there and cut that yard, boy. You ain't did it in three, four days. Sooner or later, that just means you just being defiant. You being rebuilt. See what I'm saying? Right. So sooner or later, you won't get chastised. All right? God said that. Visiting the iniquity of fathers upon the children, that means you, Dad. That means yeah. you, if you out there doing something wrong and you think organized crime is the way to go and your child is sitting there watching you, God said you is messing around and printing this iniquity on your children and then on his children and on his children and on his children. And his children. See, you mess around and will be here, but your children are going to still suffer because of what you did. Because you thought that was the way to go. You thought being tough or gangster or whatever. I don't know what you call it. I, I, I mean myself, Lord, please take that out of my mind. Lord, Lord. You know, the children... Children unto the third and the fourth generation. And if sooner or later somebody don't get a hold of what they're thinking, man, it's going to be the fifth, sixth, and all the rest of them. And your whole family going to be sitting right there in hell with you. And you know what? They might be mad enough they're going to be sitting down there looking at you. They might do something to you. You know what I'm saying? Because they mad now. 
They're not sitting up there walking on streets of gold. You see what I'm saying? They're not singing praises to the Lord. This is what God is grooming you for. When you're reading the word of God every day, studying the word of God, you're listening to the music, you're learning how to play the instruments. These are the things God is grooming you that you will not say, man, that sure sounds boring to me, huh? No, boy, when that Holy Spirit visits you, boy, you tell you, boy, ain't gonna be nothing nice, especially when you catch that right note. You understand? If you sing it and you catch that right, man, God got a lot for you, man. Let me mess around a bit, because like I say, the words that's coming out of my mouth, these ain't my words. God said, and Moses made haste and bowed his head toward the earth and worshiped. You see what I'm saying? Amen. Moses said, oh, Lord, let me mess my money good. Because he had sinned against God. So Moses didn't want it to go carry on. He said, boom, all you got to do, fathers, all you have to do, mothers, stop doing what you're doing. Amen. Repent. Turn away from what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? Call upon the name of Jesus. The devil will flee. You caught up somewhere and you don't know what to do. You done put yourself in a situation you can't get out of. God said, I will always give you a way out. You understand? Even if they take your life because you prayed and asked God and asked him to forgive you, he'll get you out of that. You understand? Because he's going to take you up. You understand? You're only going to die. See what I'm saying? See what I'm talking about? You're going to live once. But you're going to die twice. If you be born again. <clears throat> well, ain't that something? I just bless myself. You gonna be, you can be born twice too. Boy, yeah, let me hear God. That's the only way you're going to get in. Boy, you got to be born twice. Boy, I bless myself. I ain't that something? You gonna be born twice. You gonna die once. You got to hear that. I don't hear that way. Read. Study to show yourself approved. That is, I put it out there to confuse you. How do you feel? Do you believe me? You live once, you die twice. You die twice, you live once. What is the way to end it? God say, get in that word yourself. Study to show yourself approved. Yes, Moses, hit, hit down, Moses hit the ground. He went to God, oh Lord, he went to praise and worship in God. And God told him what he going to do. Amen. Yes, Lord. God, God punished Moses, a friend to him. God called Moses his friend. Ain't that something? I would love to be in that category. Yes, sir. God said Moses was his friend. But guess what? Moses wasn't allowed into the promised land. God messed around and spanked him too. And guess what he did though? He took him up. He took him up. Because yes, yes. they said when Jesus went to play in the garden, he brought what? Who he brought? James and John. And they were down there, supposed to be up there watching and went to sleep. They said they looked up there and they saw some men in some, some white robes so bright and they looked up there and one of them was Moses. That's right. What you doing up there, Moses? <laughs> he asked God to forgive him. Amen. That's a clear sign right there. That's right. Go to the word of God. What, did, what happened? Moses was standing. Who else was up there with him, Pastor? Elijah. Elijah. You know what was so cold about it? He was a prophet too. Right. You understand? He did what God asked him to do. That's when right. they looked up and they saw him, he was so bright. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I want, man. That's why I asked God to forgive me, God. Now, I don't know if he's going to send me down to talk to Jesus or somebody. I don't know. But I tell you what, just to get that pretty white robe going to be all right for me. But exactly. I know I made it. That's you right. understand? I ain't had to worry about the devil. Man, I'm just trying to tell you, man, that's confusion and chaos, man. Change your life, man. Yes, sir. That was my opening scripture right there. I forgot to tell you that, too. Well, God ain't nothing nice, man. Amen. He said, Moses, and Moses made haste. See, I want to show you that word. Man, look, God sent me back so I could show you that. Yes, sir. Bless me, Lord. You see that? I wanted to move on, but God say, look at it again. Yes, sir. And Moses made haste. Boy, look, y'all, I'll tell you something. Sometimes I just can't wait to get here. You understand? And boy, if it rain, I feel so bad. But God finna fix that too, devil. Amen. Yeah, he is. Yes, man. Oh, Lord. Lord, I'm going to you. Know, I'm oh, man, let's go. Now, let's go to Isaiah 53, verse 1, page 882. Isaiah. Uh, yeah, come on. 
Thank you, Lord. Amen. I want to let you know something. I don't I know I'm not the same part of it, but I want to let you know. That boy, I'm going to tell you right now, when you go to God, and you ask God for something. Yes, sir. When God give it to you, boy, you know it's the best. Because I asked my I asked the Lord for my This is an experience that I ain't never had in life. Somebody that could care for you so much. You understand? That want to live for you, man. That want to do the things that will make you happy. Man. You know? That's wild, man. That's God. But I asked God for a wife. I had a, I had been a wife. You know what I'm I mean, I had two other wives. I can't say nothing negative about them. You know what I'm saying? I had a good life, you know, being with them and whatever. But it just wasn't like uh, uh, the one that I have for God. You understand? Amen. So God gave me a white boy. I'm talking about boy. You know, say, man, I thought she'd be gone a long time ago. But she's still there, so I know <laughs> God is looking. God is still blessing me. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? That's all I'm talking about. Amen. I just want to let you know, me, me, myself. I had no idea that what I was doing didn't think I ain't never done that before. I was sitting there with some whiskey in my head when I did it. You understand? What good is he was always perfect. <laughs> I want to let you know that, man. <laughs> I got to be 53. Yeah, and we're going to read the whole chapter. Man, it, yeah. I got it. Uh, we're going to read the whole chapter. See, I've been studying now. I don't have to need magnets and stuff to stick it. I know already where it is. You know what I'm mean? saying? I got it. All right. Now, what we're talking about is iniquity. Yes, sir. Transgression. And both of those lead up to sin. You understand? Amen. Check this out what God said right here to Isaiah. See, this is, this is, um, uh, Yeah, man, they call me the weeping minister. I just, every time I get in that word, man, it just, see, water gonna come from somewhere. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gonna sweat. You gonna cry or something. Yes, sir. Boy, look here, when you, when you living for God, everything that happened to you, <laughs> everything that happened, God did. I got it. That was a good song. That was that lady say, everything that happened. To me, that is good. God did it. You see what I mean? That's what it is, man. Good things are happening to me now, man. Amen. Let me read this here. Who had be believed our report? You hear that? You say, ah, now what, that's, what that means? That means clearly that this here is a report. Amen. They know when they looked and seen what's going on, they come back to report it. Who they reported it to? They reported it to the children of Israel. No, he's talking to you. Yes, sir. He's talking to you, Marlon. Amen, me too. Me too, bro. That's the way I take God's word. Yes, sir. He's talking to me. Yes, sir. Personally. Did you hear what he said? Who has believed our report? You got one now. Yes, this is what God telling me. I got a report. Yes, sir. I can tell you what I've been through, what I've seen, what I've done. All of it was right now is for the will of God, baby. Amen. All of it is for the good. Yes, if you don't want to be lied to, come on, talk to me. We ain't gonna talk about the old days. You understand? Because that's something I'll never speak on. You know, Amy, you remember? Uh, no, sure don't. <laughs> sure don't want to remember that. Why would you? That's gonna see if I There you go. Why would he don't know that though? Amen. He the one that don't know that, John. That's why you can wreck it right off the top. That's right. Oh man, I remember when you. Boom, stop sign. Be blind. I'll talk to you later, my brother. Yeah. I don't want to talk about that. Amen. I don't want you to rile my flesh up right. about something that happened once. Boy, it had to be two, three years ago because, man, I'm telling you, God been working on me, partner. You know what I'm So you better find out. Let's get on in here. But, boy, this is going to be a doozy. Boy, God is cold. And who is aimed and who is all of the, of the Lord's will? And who is the arm of the Lord revealed? See, that's what he's trying to tell the people. He's trying to tell you that's out there. You don't know what God is doing to me. Amen. You can't tell. That's what he's meaning. He's not meaning like he's saying something. Like he's trying to hurt you or something. 
God asks you to listen the way it is written, my brother. That's why I love the King James. Well, I don't know nothing about the deeds and dollars. I go to London, I probably wouldn't understand a word them people saying where the King James came from. I'd be like, man, Lord, help me. Hold on, let me translate that. Google. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right, here. And who is the arm of the Lord revealed? You understand? God's saying, he said he's going to give you a report. And who is all going to reveal it to? He's going to reveal it to you. Yes, sir. Because these people ain't going to know unless they are born again. You can look at me and you can say, Marvin, I have a report, man. Amen. You know done, buddy. God, let me know, boy, I see it still. In you. you see what I'm saying? That's the report God talking about. Yes, he's going to send people to say, hey, what you doing? There's something different about you, man. I'm going to have to go tell old, old Tommy, man, I saw you, man. Oh, man, the one that gave his life to Christ. I'm telling you, man, you ought to go see. See, that's the report that they're going to have to go say. They ain't going to be able to say, man, look at man. You know, he in jail right now. He waiting for time. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to hurt him, man. I'm waiting for time. I'm waiting for some time. And for God to support that guy, I hope I'm here. For he right. shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of the dry ground, he has no form nor commonness. And when we shall see him, there is no beautiful beauty that we should deserve him. Yeah. Desire him. Okay, well that see. I'm glad to see. Him. That's what I'm talking about. That one word right there, if you yes, were the next one to That's why God say study to show yourself. That one word. That one word right there changed that whole verse. You understand? Man, look at me. God is good. I guess that's what God wanted me to show you. I'm going to say something when you say that. That's the end of that. God wanted you to see that. He will reveal things to you, Dad. God will reveal things to you. Sometimes you can walk in the room and look up and say, oh, okay, 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 man, I'm in and I've been looking for that all day. And you know what? He's probably sitting right there on that corner. And you'll get in that kitchen a thousand times. Mm -hmm. And when you go in there, you will look and say, man, the deal. See what I'm saying? Man, he ain't going to do no miraculous thing. He ain't going to mess around and rip the side of your house off and hand the stuff to you. You understand what I'm saying? That's you not taking your time. Slow down. That's Slow down, my brother. Amen. Okay, man, I'm okay. doing Oh Lord, he is despite he is despite and let's see he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow and iniquity. Slow down. Okay. Nah, I need to slow down. <laughs> and he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. That means it all the way fine. He's a coin grief is part of him. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Boy, that's a bad living right there. Huh? God must run want me to give this to you here. Yeah. Okay. And we hide as we uh, and we hide as it were our faces from him. He was despised and made ex extinct and exhumed and not. And we esteemed. See? Man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's all right. Take so, your time, man. brother. Ain't no yeah, yeah, right. Right. right now, Lord, we, we, we ask you, Lord, God, we will give everything that's not like you, Lord. See, you heard when I said I studied to get everything out of my head when I could speak your word, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, I rebuke him in Jesus' name, Lord God, because he don't want the rest of this stuff to come out. Because we've been to find out that we don't mess around and repent and change our lives, man. Yes. We don't get iniquity and, and transgression out of our life. If we get iniquity and transgression on our lives, guess what that means? That means we won't sin. That's right. We get sin out of our life. Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord for helping me. Mm -hmm. I just said that God wanted to reveal that to the people. You see, I just spoke on that. I just spoke on my wife. And God saw that. See, God saw that. And every time I went left, she came back right. right. And then pastor right. said, man, you got to help me. That's what I was trying to tell you. That's the kind of woman she is. She ain't gonna steal me wrong. Amen, Find you a wife that God would bless you with. Yes, and she won't steal you wrong. Yes, 
She exactly. won't let you go out there and do different things so she can buy a new purse or ride around in a pretty car. You understand? They got women right now today that the devil has confused them. And they're letting you go out there and just do all the iniquity and all the transgression you can do as long as you bring that money. You understand? And when you get home, guess what? She might be transgressing and have iniquity to you. So you better watch it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you ain't got a woman of God, you got one that's going to transgress on you if you transgress. They said birds, that birds of a feather flock together. That's a metaphor they speak of. Who else they get? The flip side. Amen. See, that's what it was. I blessed myself. Pastor, that's what that was. Bless myself. So, you know, what we're going to do that. Yeah. Surely he has borne our grief. I wonder who they're talking about right now. They're talking about Jesus. That's it. See, they're talking about Jesus right here. See, that's why I think that's why I opened up my mind because I wanted you to see that. We talking about Jesus. Hey, bad, brother. Listen to this here. He bad our sins, our grief, our iniquities, our sins. You understand? He took on that grief. You understand? Grief is that pain. You don't have grief when you're happy. Yeah, you don't have grief when you're happy. Boy, if I met somebody and looked at my knee and it said, E, and I know for a fact I can't go for two miles, but I live ten miles. That means I'm going to be walking eight miles. You know what I mean? But if I look down there and it say full, I'm not going to even worry about it. Matter of fact, I ain't going to even look down there because I already know God has already provided for me. And I'm just saying that just like I said as a metaphor because I want you to understand what God do for you. Amen, God won't leave you walking. He even told you if you was one of those sheep, God said when he find you, he'll put you on his shoulders. You know what I mean? He ain't going to let you walk. God ain't going to even let you walk. Ain't that something? He preparing you for heaven because you ain't going to have no feet. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I'm just saying, just throw that out to you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're talking about Jesus. That's why I say we're going to go here. But you watch what he say now. We're talking about Jesus. You watch what he say about him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He say, surely he had borne our grief and carried our sorrow. Yet we did esteem him stricken. Okay, smite, smote smitten of God and afflicted. You see what I'm saying? That's right. See what I'm talking about? God son and down there, they say that he was afflicted of God and smitten and all that stuff. God. And these people beat Jesus like right that. He gave for us. That's oh, why he did that. God. Put it this way. I'm going to tell you something. I don't want you to feel selfish. When somebody asks you that, you know what you tell them. Who he did it for? Me. me. Yeah, there you go. That's your personal reason. That's your... That's your love and your friend and the people that carry go take care of you. That's Jesus Christ. Look here, man. God said you have an individual relationship with God. Yes, sir. If I say we, I'm talking about Christians. I ain't talking about you that's living in sin and iniquity. I ain't talking about you that transgression God. When somebody asks you, who did he do that for? You say me. Amen. Who he died on the cross for? Me. You can do that. Be selfish sometimes. Because guess what? That's what the person that's looking at you gonna say. He a Christian too. Who did he die for? Me. All right, then that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, when you look in that mirror. You know what? I want to tell you something that didn't that, that, that really truly didn't sit with me. I'm gonna say this right now and God forgive me. But this 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 people all right. You know? I was going home last Friday and I saw that they had a, a, a tent and all that stuff set up on the corner down there. Down the old Magnolia. When we passed by, we were sitting at the side and just looked at them. Or they was eating and laughing and drinking and being merry. Then I remember my days out there. I'm talking about me. I, uh, I remember my days out there. I used to go on that corner sometimes, get some good plates, fried fish, spaghetti, cornbread, all that. Yeah, you sit down and they mess around and read out the Bible to you. Yeah, they do that. And then you take your plate to go and you leave. And then when you go and say, it's like a man that beholding his face in the mirror. He, he turn away and forget how he look himself. That's right. Because that's the way it is. When you're out there teaching people the word of God who don't want to hear it. They there for the fishes and the loaves. When you ain't giving them a word the way they can walk away with the word of God. Give them a Bible when you come out there. When you read it to them, let them know. Let them study to show their yes, self-approved. Yes, they sit there. You read. 
They tell you, they bless you, they do all the things, give you money, clothes, coats, shoes, stuff. But nobody gives you the word of God. God. They don't, you don't walk away with the word of God. You don't walk away with the word of God. God. All of them cakes and cookies and stuff. Buy some Bibles. Yes, sir. Then the true people will come. The true people will come. Those that look at the repent. Those yes, that look at the turn their life around. They tired of drugging and being out there in the cold and the rain. Like Give them the word of God. Yes, sir. How can they understand when you telling them what to do? You tell them the word. Then you feel them real fat, fat, good. They go lay down in the corner or they go mess around and go to sleep. That's like God says, like a man beholding his face in the mirror. When he turn away, he forget how he look. And I know what God's talking about because I done done it before. I done looked like I walked away. Now I'm going back and look again to make sure. All right, I'm all right. You see what I'm saying? That's what the word of God says. That's right. You hindering them. Give them the word of God. Give them the word of God and give them something so they can walk away with it. They can understand. Let them walk away. We need to be give them a little brown bottle. You understand? Give them the word. Here at, at Victory in Jesus Bible Study Center, 1375 East Lucas, they got a Bible on the back of every pool here. Come and get you one. Come fellowship with them. Yes, sir. But when you walk away from here and you'll say, what did Marvin talk about? He'll say, oh yeah, it was Isaiah 53. You can go look for yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can go look up for yourself. I'm going to tell you what page is on and everything else. Come on, man. I heard a, a prominent preacher. I was sitting there looking at the TV, turning through the, through the YouTube. And I heard the man mess around and said that the book of Acts is the only book that's in the Bible that's of history. And I said to myself, click. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't want to hear nothing else that man had to say. Why? Because I studied to show myself a proof. Every book in the Bible is a book of history, but the book of Revelation because it's your future. Right. You understand? Yes, sir. Any book. Five books of Moses ain't history. What's wrong with this man? <laughs> and he told his congregation that. And that ain't me. I'm telling you, that's the word of God that God been saying that. I want you to know, man, God says, study to show yourself a proof. Yes, sir. Let's finish reading this here, man. We want to read this because this is powerful, man. This is a mighty, a mighty prophet of God. This uh, with Isaiah, man. You can look back in Isaiah, and Isaiah can teach you how to walk. It can teach you how to talk, how to do everything. It says, but he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? God took him on our transgression. This is what Isaiah is saying. Before Jesus was even born, he was not here. The word that Isaiah was speaking here was God's word. Yes, God sir. put this word in Isaiah for him to go back and tell the children of Israel. Amen. You understand? He wanted the Jewish people to know he's going to send you a Messiah. My they God. still looking for What is wrong with them? Uh, yeah, look here, man. Help them, Lord. Why they going through what they going through when we ask you right now, Lord. Yeah. Oh, he's going to bring them out, Lord God. He said he's going to bring them out. God said he's going to bring them out. Amen. He did it time and time before. they going to straighten up. Yes, sir. And God's going to bless them. And that's just the way it's going to be. Amen. Yeah. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. You understand? And with his strife, we are healed. Right. You understand that? You want to be healed, Brother Johnson? I say, do you want to be healed? Do what God tell you to do. Do what God tell you to do. Yes, sir. You heard that? You hear that in Baal? You see that? Well, you heard that. Mm -hmm. I heard it. See? Well, when I said that, a little bell went off. They heard it. See? Well, God say, ding. <laughs> you know what I So I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going crazy. Yeah, I heard it. You heard it, John? <laughs> you heard it? All right, I don't know. I know. I think I, I know where it came from. Now. But that was God that did that. Right, God. Okay. All we, all we like, she, all we like, like she, have gone astray. See, just speak about that. Like God come and He find you. Come here. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has led. 
have laid on him the iniquities of us all. You see what I mean? Yes, see, God did that. Yes, so the Father laid all our iniquities on God, on Jesus. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Amen. That's why I'm saying that. So God right here was speaking to Isaiah about Jesus. Why can't Jesus speak about God? That's what I'm trying to tell you what the New Testament is. Amen. The New Amen. Testament is a road map. You understand the heaven. Because God said broad is the way. But you no know, broad is the gate, but now is the way, right? That leads to what? To destruction. So many. You know what I'm saying? Amen. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, <laughs> you want to take the now way. Because yeah, it ain't hard. It ain't hard. If God had already laid all our iniquities that I see in those people. But the only way you can get God to under to, to activate that is if you ask Jesus to take your iniquity and your sin to, to the Father. You know what I'm You can't go, oh, you won't go to God yourself. God didn't even let the children of Israel do that. He sunk Moses up there. <laughs> Man, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to leave that alone right there. Okay? I just, I'm, 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 right now, I'm going to go to I'm gonna go to verse 12. Because you know why? You can read. You understand? From 7 to, to 11. I want to read this next. But this is another thing. Look at God did this here. Okay, let's go. He shall see the, the travels. The travels. Uh, we'll go over to 11. Okay. He shall see of the, the travail, the travail of his soul, and shall be sac sanctified and to satisfy by his knowledge. No shall, okay, knowledge, shall my righteous servant justify men. See, talking about you, for he shall bear their iniquity. You see what I'm saying? Yes, so I just want to read that and let you know that's what God said. I want to read this one right here to you. I want to go to 12. Okay? You see, you can read from us uh, 17. Because I want to get back with this other. I want, I want to tell you how it happened. Therefore, we will divide him a portion with the grave. Well, therefore, we will divide him. Oh, yeah, see that? Just that one word. Therefore, we are I divide God. See? See? Just that one and one letter. One of them, I'm telling you, that's that why God say that. I'm not doing that, man. I know what I is. You know what I mean? Most of these things I've read four or five times all the time, so why am I? But that's God, man, want me to know. You got to go back in the Word. He showed me oh, yes, that these people was eating good. They were playing good music. They were fellowshipping. Everybody was happy. Everybody was enjoying themselves. But when it was all over, those people packed up, and the only thing they walked away with was a plate of food. You understand? Now, I don't know how many of them did retain the word of God. I don't know how many of them had a Bible like that. But I know those people didn't bring none. I know for a fact. They didn't give everybody that was out there a Bible. Study to show yourself approved. I guess that's where God is trying to go now. God is using me to let you know, study the show, that I know these words. I read them all week. Therefore will I devise him a portion with the great. Okay? God said, Jesus is going to be like kids. Please, all that. He's going to divide him a portion with the great people. You know what I'm saying? Why are you going to divide him with the weak? With who? They sent it. The weak. The weak. That you, you, you said it yourself. They weak. They weak. You you you're self-explanatory. If you weak, listen. This is another thing I don't want to read because I'm going over there anyway. Look, the Bible said this that in order for the devil to steal, kill, and destroy, he must first bind the strong man. The strong man is inside you. That's your spirit. The devil has to go and bind your spirit in order for him to, to rule your flesh. That's why you've got to always stay in the Word, studying, uh, uh, pr uh, praying, and then worshiping. You've got to read the Word of God. Feed your spirit, keep them strong, lift them spiritual weights up. You understand what I'm saying? 
Man, look at my spiritual mind. I probably can bench press a thousand pounds. You know why? But at first, like he said, like about to say, I was weak. And he stepped and walked all over me. Tied me up and walked all over my house. He made my hands sin, my eyes sin, my mouth sin. You see what I'm saying? My legs sin, my hands, and, and my members and everything else. You understand? You know. So that's how he was able to do that. Because he bind the strong man. Because he was weak. So you got to mess around and feed the spirit. Feed him that good spiritual stuff. The word of life. That's right. Don't go and just listen what the preacher say. And walk away. You might go and, 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 and say that same thing to somebody else. And they'll look and say, oh boy, you all wrong. He don't say that. And then he don't know either. You see what I'm saying? But I'll tell you what. You come by me, guess what? I'm going to have my bottle wrapped around my neck. I'm going to have a little brown bottle in my pocket. You understand? You say something about the Old Testament, I can't refer to that, but I can't refer you to the New because I got the Word of God in my mouth. I'm going to tell you, and if you can't go to it, please give me time to find it because if you trying to, that's the devil trying to confuse both of us. You see what I'm saying? We gonna go and study to show ourselves. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. I want to get through with this. Huh? It said, "Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong." See, with you. Yes, see sir. what he said? Yes, sir. You the strong one. You mess around and make your soul and your spirit strong. This is who they talking about Amen. way back there in the, in, the, in, in, in Isaiah. Prophesize this. Yes, sir. And if you may well give your life to Christ and build your strong man up. Right, God, when He gives the, the, the portion to Jesus, Jesus is going to turn around and give some of it to you. Amen, brother. Ain't that something, boy? Well, if you talk, I Lord, speak. Lord. Speak, Lord. Because He had poured out His soul, you see what I'm saying, unto them. Boy, they say Jesus did that all the way that He died. Yes, sir. That's why people look at you and say, What would Jesus do? No, you ask yourself that. Look in the mirror and ask yourself that. And when you walk away and you got the idea and you know what it is, don't you turn away and forget it. Amen, See, that's what God's talking about. Get into a Bible study to show yourself through. We're still talking about transgression and iniquity. And that leads to sin. And he was numbered with the transgression. Boy, if we, we put, they put Jesus with us. And he bore the sins of many. And made intercession for the transgressor. Wow. You heard that? That's what Jesus did. Exactly. Thank you, Lord. You didn't even know he did that. Huh? Hmm. That's what's crazy. That's why you're doing what you're doing. Because you're not studying the word of God. Right. You're not showing your, to make yourself approved. You're not approved. showing God. You're not building your strong man up. Build your strong man up, my yes, friend. Sir. If you can't read. Go fellowship. Find it in the word. If you skip I, pray, hey, man, you skip I. You see what I'm saying? That's like that pastor when he said Acts was the only book that is history in the Bible. He didn't even explain how that was. But I sure wish I was there because he turned the church upside down. That's what they told him. But when I raised my hand up and said, hey, pastor, no, uh, I thought, you know, but you tried that, you know. All right, them people that's supposed to use them security guards. Walk you out. What you got, little mama? Translation. He wants you to do the right stuff. You see that? She looking at me when she talking to me. Hey, look. This is what God put on. He, she looking at me, but she talking to y'all. You see what I'm saying? There it is. You see what I'm saying? Grab some of that. That's what Jesus said. He said right here in the scripture. He just used that child as an example. He's going to pour some of that out to the strong. You understand? God, what you said. She just told me, huh? God wants you to be good. You understand? And she heard talk. She was looking at me, but she talking to all. So, God, that's what I'm saying. This is exactly what the scripture, verse 12, is talking about. God gave Jesus a portion. And Jesus just gave us a portion to feed our spirit. Oh, to let us know we're doing the right thing. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. We've got some food up there.
Let me just go to this one. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5. Let me just go to this one. Let's go to Matthew uh, 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 what we call Micah. 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 Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, I'm going to tell you something before I got to me. I said, see, I talked to him. I'm going to have to do it again. Yes, I'm going to have to do it third evening for you, see. Because, boy, we still ain't through. Yeah, we are. We're going to be done with this. Because, see, I think you got the picture. Now, you see, we're going to go to my car. Okay. Let's see. Twelve nine. Twelve nine. We're going to go to chapter two. Let me guess what's going to be so good about it. Ten ninety-nine. Okay. Chapter 2, verse 1. Let's start right here. Like the Bible says, we're going to start at the beginning. Get you know, all like that. Okay. Come on. Mm. Okay. Where well, am I? What? Where did I go? Verse 2. All right, look, this here, I want to let you know what this is. This here is where the children of Egypt were taken out of, they, they, the, the children of, 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 uh, of uh, the, uh, this is where the Hebrews were took out of Egypt. And where they came and they dwelled at the bottom of the mountain. And that Moses went up and got the commandment. Yes, but when he came back down, he saw what they were doing. And he destroyed the commandments, you know, and God punished them, right? But this here is just, God told this guy here, Michael, which is his name, and he made it short. But really, truly, his name was us. I'm gonna, I could tell you, I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, it was look, a long word. Yeah, it was. I know yeah. it. But, he, but, he, but it meant Yahweh, yeah. A servant of Yahweh. So, but look, God told this guy right here to go and, and, and what you do now, go tell these people. You understand? Go tell them what's going on. So he was supposed to go back and prophesy to them. All uh, right, and this is uh, this is what God told him to go tell. Okay. Verse one says this: uh, Woe to them that deceive! Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds, when the morning is light, they practice it, because it is in the power of their hand. You see what I'm saying? This right here is saying that people that must be your dreams. This man is dreaming. This man say you dream about going sinning. God don't want you to do that. You understand? Amen. God see God see. He said he said in the morning. He said in the morning. It's like, <laughs> it's like they practice it. They practice in iniquity. We were earlier that iniquity is what premeditation. That's, right. That's what this is. This is premeditated sin yeah, that, that the children of Israel were doing. Let me do something right. Go to go to chapter six right quick. I'm going to say. Go to chapter six right quick. Go to verse one. This will give you understanding. And then we're going to close out on it. Eleven oh two. All right. Let's go to verse here. See, this is here. This is where he's trying to tell. This is what God's saying. Hear ye now what the Lord said. Arise, contend thou before thy mountains, and let the hills hear thy voice. It says, Hear, O mountain, the Lord's com convert the, the Hear, O mountain, the Lord's controversy, and ye and, and ye strong foundation of the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with his people. See. That's what you're talking about us. Yes, sir. He got a controversy with these people. Yes, sir. And he yeah, the children is real too, but he's talking to you. Amen. You understand? Okay. For the Lord had a controversy with his people. And he will plead with Israel. You understand? Oh, my people, we have I done unto thee. Say, oh, my people, what have I done unto thee? Yeah, God asking us. He asking you, why are you doing this, man? And wherein have I uh, worried thee? Wearied, wearied me. Testify against me. Yeah. For I brought thee up out of the land of Egypt and redeemed thee out of the house of servant. And I have set before thee Moses, Aaron, and 
Mara. Miriam. Miriam, that's, that's his mom. It's Moses' mom. Moses' mom is Miriam. Oh, my people. Remember now what? Balak, king. His sister, Miriam. Miriam, okay. Oh, that's his sister, okay. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron is his brother. Yeah, I, okay, that's right. That's right, that's right. So, but I thought that was his mom. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thinking I... I guess I ain't remembering the Ten Commandments right, but anyway, I thank you, that for Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. All right, we appreciate you, Father. Okay, sin before thee, Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. Oh, my people, remember now what Balak, king of Moab, uh, cons cons consulted. consulted, and with Balaam and, and the son of Beron, answering him for Shemit, Shed him unto Gil, Gil, Gilgal, that he may know the righteous of the Lord. None of it is still on him. Okay. Wherein shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before high, high God, the high God? Shall I come before him with certain offerings and calves of a year? Yo, know, it says, um, here we go. We will the Lord be pleased with thousands of, of, of rams or with ten thousand of ravens, River. rivers of oil. Shall shall I give my firstborn? See that's what he's saying to God. This is what Moses for my transgressions, the fruit of my body, for the sin of my soul. He has shown the old man what is good and what do it the Lord required of thee, but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with our God. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what God is trying to tell you. If you stop doing all this sin and iniquity, I just want to read that because God, we want to mess around and let you know. Sin and iniquity, God going to mess around and do something to you just like he did with children and Israel at that time. But if God mess around and told Moses to go back up a second time. Bring the chairman back up a second time, and God wrote the Ten Commandments again for him. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm trying to tell you right there. God has showed mercy to him. You see what I'm saying? God showed mercy to him, and they messed around and still, but God didn't like what they had did, and he let them wander in the wilderness for 40 years. That's what's the punishment. So don't sin and think God is not going to chastise you. You won't get it, but take it in stride, man. Ask him to forgive you for what you've done. Yes, sir. Repent and turn away from iniquity and transgression, man. Please, man, let's leave the sin and sin leads to death. And the death that sin leads to is not a death that you want because your soul is, is, is not stopped. See, you can mess around. And it's two things. You can mess around just like it said in Nicodemus. You can repent and turn away. You can be born again. Yes, sir. We were born from our mother. We can be born again. In the love and the likeness of God, like he said right here. Amen. Yes, God said he would do this. Oh, you can mess around and die. Yes, See? And that death there. But then when you die in your sins, you understand your spirit is, you know, it's down to hell. So you die twice too. You can die twice or you can be born twice. Yes, sir. I think I like to be born, you know, because I got yes, to go sir. through all these like years right here. I think I take to be born twice, you understand? Yes, sir. And I thank you, Lord. And the only thing I'll say, you know, we're going to have a closing scripture. And you know where I was going because I told you last week I didn't get to be here. The closing scripture will be Romans, the seventh chapter, 14 through 25. The things that I do, these are the things that I do not. The things that I do not, those are the things that I do. That's what God said. And the only way you can stop that is by repenting. Yes, that is the only way you can stop that. That is the only way you can stop that. Repent, turn away from your sins, man. Stop transgressing. Stop ha having evil in your heart, man. Stop me premeditating what you're going to do when you go there. I'm going to walk up and wait and look at I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to wait in home. I'm going to go do this. Yes. Hey, 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 brother, man. You, you feeling good? God will bless you. She ain't going to tell you to do the right thing. You know what it is. Amen. Have a nice day.
God bless you, man. I hope it was something that was said. Amen, I thank that God let me decrease and that I increase in the Lord. You understand? I thank you, Lord. I marvel, I glorify you, yes. I lift you up, I give you honor, and we want you to bless Brother Johnson that he listened yes. to the word of God. And don't give up. Amen. Amen. Don't give up. Amen. We had 1375 East Lucas. We had 1375 East Lucas. 1375 East Lucas. Yes, sir. Victory in Jesus by the study son. Amen. You understand? Pastor. You understand? That's Pastor right there. Herman Young. Come grow with us. Come grow with us. Yes, sir. God bless you. Amen.